bumblebees. What are bumblebees? Bumblebees are insects. They have three pairs of legs, compound eyes, and one pair of antennae. Their body has three sections, head, thorax, and abdomen. They have an exoskeleton made of chitin. Bumblebees are classified in the insect order Hymenoptera, the ants, bees, wasps, and sawflies. Bumblebees are further categorized in the insect family Apidae, the bees. Bees have a thick body with a division between the thorax and abdomen that is easy to see. Four wings, hairs on the body, stocky legs, and long slender antennae. The females have pollen collecting hairs on the legs or abdomen. The eyes are located on the side of the head. What do they look like? Bumblebees are large, hairy bees. They have yellow hairs on the head, thorax, and abdomen. The abdomen can have other hair colors too. How big are they? Bumblebees are about three eighths to one inch in length. Where do they live? Bumblebees need three different types of habitat in their life cycle. They must build a nest where their eggs, larvae, and pupae can develop safely. Bumblebees nest in the ground, among leaves on the ground, under tufts of grasses, or in piles of wood. They will also nest in nesting boxes made for them by humans, in baskets, and in other items they can find. They must live where many native wildflowers grow so they can gather food from spring through fall. Bumblebee queens also need a place to survive the winter, such as in mulch or rotting logs. How do they reproduce? Bumblebees have a complex life cycle. In the spring, a young queen finds a place where she can start her nest. She collects and stores food in the nest and then lays a few eggs. These eggs hatch into larvae that go through four stages or instars. At the end of this period, each larva spins a cocoon and pupates. At the completion of development, a female worker emerges from each cocoon. Development from egg to adult takes about five weeks. All workers are females. When the workers reach the adult stage, the queen no longer leaves the nest. She spends most of her time now laying eggs. The workers are responsible for caring for the eggs, larvae, and pupae, as well as collecting food. There may be several hundred workers in the hive. Toward the end of summer, the queen lays male eggs as well as female eggs. The late summer females become queens and they mate with the males. All workers, the males, and the old queen die in late summer or fall. Only the new queens can survive through the winter. They find a place to overwinter and emerge in the spring when flowers start blooming. What do they eat? Bumblebees eat nectar and pollen from a variety of flowers. Adults mainly eat nectar, with the pollen being fed to the larvae. Does anything eat them? Birds, spiders, ambush bugs, Robber flies, assassin bugs, dragonflies, and other insects eat bumblebees. Striped skunks and raccoons kill them to reach and eat the larvae, nectar, and pollen in the hive. What else should I know about them? Bumblebees are long-tongued bees. They specialize in visiting tube-shaped flowers that have nectar too far within the flower for short-tongued bees to reach. They will take nectar and pollen from other flower shapes too. Bumblebees are important pollinators. Bumblebees collect lots of nectar from flowers, but they don't remove the water from it to make honey as honeybees do. Bumblebees eat the nectar that is collected. Honeybees need to store food for the winter since the colony lives throughout the winter. Since only the young queen bumblebee lives through the winter and are not active, they do not need to make a supply of stored food. Bumblebees are faster workers than honeybees, better pollinators, and can pollinate plants longer in the growing season. Bumblebees are active from March to September. They can raise their body temperature by shivering so that they can fly while many other insects cannot. 
There are 11 species of bumblebees in Illinois. Five of these species are rare or very rare in the state. The rusty-patched bumblebee, Bombus affinis, is a federally protected endangered species that lives in our state. Like most pollinators, bumblebee species are in decline. You can help them by taking some simple actions. Leave some clumps of grasses for them to nest in. Plant native wildflowers to provide nectar and pollen. Visit our website for more ways that you can help bumblebees and other pollinators.